free kick. And that leaves with Alistair Lynch at full forward on Shawbel. And Brisbane giving Lynch plenty of space. Jonathan Brown squares it up right into the middle. And now Michael has found some space. Handballs to Copeland, who bangs it long. Lynch has won out. And Alistair Lynch with sheer speed. 33 this season. He's kicked nine goals so far in the two finals matches. From point blank range. Kicks Brisbane's first. Woods against Keating as the runner gets in the way. Keating, a beautiful tap to Carousel, but he costs it straight up to Crouch. Back inside 50, and that is strong hands from Barry Hall. So a much better angle here for Barry Hall. Fifth on the goal kicking table this year with 62 32. From 52 metres, he drives it home for Sydney Spurs. Game. Ball against Charman in the ruck. Michael comes in as third man, but slaps it straight to Williams. High ball, deep inside at 50. Goods fluid, couldn't take the mark. Maxfield front and centre. Fed out the handball. Ricochets to Goods. Taps it on the Creswell! difference 14 plays 12 as we near quarter time in this preliminary final the magpies already through after defeating Port Adelaide this afternoon at the MCG there's another example of Maxfield playing on they do it quite often Sydney the fist came from Keating oh they've popped it up here the Swans Martin Pike can go and he does Brown. And what Craig Bolton, Brown's opponent, has to realise is that they will chip it short to Jonathan Brown, so he just cannot afford to zone off. Here they go again, just a little short kick, keep possession. Bradshaw's got it. Bangs it long from a standing start into the uh, goal spin. Now Lynch got pushed out. Stop! No, you bumped him out of it. You bumped him out. He didn't go the ball. It would be fair to say that Andrew Shawbel's not a happy camper at the moment. Well, he certainly went out of the contest. We can see Lynch backing back. He's got touch on Shawbel. He slipped. He slipped more than he was bumped. So Alistair Lynch will line up for his second with a controversial free kick. And he's got it. Shawble. Old Xavier boy. Thank you. In a near apople apoplectic state when he realised the bad news. It got worse with Lynch goaling. Pike to Charman and Brisbane are dangerous again. Not the best placement but Lynch is there. Couldn't hang on. McGrath clever. Another one. Again, the long bomb to Alistair Lynch, the contest, and the Brisbane players know, get in front, be front and square, and you will be rewarded. And he does really well to get a boot on that. The tackle is strong, drags him to ground, he's able to get enough on it to put it through. Not going back. And Barry Hall, who's very good in the ruck contest, Davis sharking Michael's bring down. Roberts Thompson, their only hope here. Well done by the youngster, and he was held. And he held his ground. Daryl White, an experienced campaigner. Well over 200 games for Brisbane. And Roberts Thompson, you see, White gets hold of him. Definitely a free kick. Gives himself a bit of leeway and does it brilliantly. Throw in Barry at the back of the pack. Got it to Williams. Good collect under pressure. Hall's got to beat two and does. And he's off. Barry Hall, what can he do here? Can he 
conjures something, he puts it into space. Roberts Thompson is in front, tackled by White, got the free. Yeah, it has to be in the back of Lewis Roberts Thompson. Oh, right in the back. How good was that from Barry Hall? Well, he had two big men against him too, Mel Michael and Jonathan Brown, and played on quickly. Into the pocket, Davis. The former magpie, now a swan. Makes no mistake. Three points. Johnson's kick finds Lappin, who looks for Voss. Takes an excellent mark out in front of Barry Hall. He wastes no time, he looks for Hart. Great pick up by Bradshaw, back to Hart. Long kick inside 50, Carousella against Camelli. And that is a terrific mark, a great one handed, taken by Blake Carousella. Made it look easy. Well, they've taken taken that ball from the kick in from Chris Johnson the length of the field until eventually Carousella can have a shot for goal now he's uh, slightly worse on a 45 degree angle as Akamanis comes back on kick off from about 40 metres out 13 goals, 16 this season to Blake Carousella and it's home for Brisbane Sydney be made to pay in the last minute. Ackermanis, it's a big kick. Not quite big enough, but it's still in. And McRae makes him pay. And height. Power got legged. A while let it go. Black. An effective kick. Notting. Scrub the kick forward. But only as far as Crouch. They peeled off into Swans. Oh, Canelli was one, but the kick was poor. Chipping in as McGrath. McGrath will pump it long. Bradshaw fell over the crucial moment. Ha! Here's a chance for Bradshaw, he's recovered. Can't get boots of ball. A big snap by Carousella. It's home! Big start for Brisbane. Again, the long kick to Alistair Lynch, and that's what Brisbane have to be prepared to do more. They've got big forwards in Lynch and Jonathan Brown. They are playing on much smaller opponents. They have to get the ball in quickly, and just good uh, scramble at ground level, and a smart kick by Carousella. Pulled the kick, pulled it high, knew if he kicked through the ball, it would most likely be smothered. He is a clever footballer. All the way out. Scrubby kick. Schneider. Can he do it on the wrong side? No, right the smother. Saddington another go. The Pike. Brisbane holding firm. Great poise about them there. Black the long ball, but nothing on the end of it. And Sydney can have another crack. Looking a bit proppy chasing Saddington. Of course, first game back after a knee injury. Sydney have it in the midfield. Well, Williams has coughed it up. This could be a crucial moment. There's no one inside 50. This will be a sprint. It is a sprint. Who's going to win it? I think Leopard Leo might get there first. an incredible kick, he took that ball took the intercept in the middle of the ground had absolutely no one to go to he has launched into a torpedo, we see Williams goes the short pass, intercepted McGrath goes the big spiral torpedo, doesn't quite connect and let's look at the bounce that is one of the most incredible goals of season 2003. In fact, one of the most incredible goals we've seen in finals footy ever. Had a look at the goal umpire. There was a chance it was going to stop on the line. Gee, that was good work by the goal umpire. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Memories of Jezza in 1970. Robert Walls. The it's most type of goal. Just the net. Adam Goods is the leading position getter for the Swans. This is number 16 coming up. Schneider dealt with off the ball. So what happened there? Big kick looking for Hall, who takes a very important mark directly in front of goal. Far too long. 
So Hall will waste no time here. He's kicked one. Should have missed from here. Brisbane by 19 points. Last couple of minutes, Robert signs just a little bit of body against a giant like Charman. And Paul Roos would have to be thinking about giving him a spell pretty soon. Craig Bolton looks for Barry Hall, who's got a couple of metres on Michael. He takes the mark, gets the good handle over to Maxfield, who goes into the pocket. Schneider took the mark, played on Williams. Here come the scores. And the fast break on half back where the ball was bottled up for about three minutes. And Barry Hall out in front of Michael. The quick play on this is what they need to do. Get it in quick. The long direct kick by Maxfield. Ackermanis is like a fish out of water playing in that back pocket. Good share by Schneider to Williams. And they're back in the hunt. That's a beautiful kick from Paul Williams. Goods. Lovely probe into the corridor. Great Bolton. Well weighted. Saddington now. That's Sydney the way. getting better. Kirk on the non preferred the field road to Ablett. Ablett is Ackermanis' new opponent. He could kick one here and almost set Telstra Stadium afire. What a good name, Tim. And he lives up to it. It's back to eight points. We watched the champions fall. We watched the champions hanging on with their backs against the wall. That's where Brisbane are right now. Too high, free kick, Sydney. And Ty Canelli. Tim, you'll tell us how many goals he's kicked, but his mum and dad are watching. And no doubt about that. Seven for the year. I reckon all of those on the run. Now a set shot. I wonder if County Kerry was ever quite like this. Well, he's certainly got the process. He's gone back, he's marked the ground, he's measured his runner. Got some advice from Martin Pike, too. This to cut it to two points in the last seconds of the third quarter. Carousella, who's made a useful contribution yeah. tonight, but that wasn't his best moment. Lepic. Well played by Brisbane. Copeland keeps coming for Lepic. And the Lions build. Lynch. Pike. Can the veteran do it? Oh, what a serviceman he is for the Lions. His second. by nine points. Charmin against Goods. Carousella kicks a couple of vital goals, pops it up. Hart can't mark. Copeland. Brown recovers the feet. Can he get the handball away? He has a snap. It's home. It's another goal of Brisbane. Nigel Lappin really hurt in that marking contest, but Jonathan Brown quick to recover, sidestep on the left boot, just over the arms of Alistair Lynch, and as we saw in the third quarter, Brisbane getting the first couple of goals. Brisbane taking three marks in their forward 50 in this final quarter. Boylan! Voss back of the pack, tried to get it to Ackermanis unsuccessfully. Carousella, good handball to Black. Black from 40 has kicked a goal. Brisbane get another one. That might be enough. 
Well, they've just gutsed it out in this uh, in this final quarter. They've had numbers around the ball. They, we see the quick handball come out. Black in a little bit of space. Voss, bash and crash. And Simon Black receives the carousel of handball and on his not preferred side, able to put it through. That's the six touches tonight to Voss. He has not had a lot of game time. Kicks it into the goal square. Oh, it's a mark to Brown. Jonathan Brown has taken a huge... Every second that ticks by helps Brisbane. He's kicked one. And now it's two. Brisbane by 29. And now Maxfield. Running for it, Matthews. Sydney have got to do a lot and they've got to do it very quickly and they're not going to do it here. Brown. Hopeland letting go for the Rainmaker and it lands on the chest of Pike. He's had a big final quarter. Terry Tail has come to an end for Sydney. <laughs> Martin Pike, just the kind of guy to kill off a fairy tale. Eight marks inside 50 this last quarter, none for Sydney. The Lions have it. They'll be back at the MCG next week. And the crowd, the massive crowd here at Telstra Stadium has gone very, very quiet. Brown, had an enormous last quarter to power. McGrath kicked an incredible goal in that third quarter. Now Hart has not stopped running all night to the tip of the goal square. Leach, Leach! Alistair Leach will put some icing on the Brisbane cake. Then will kick his third goal for the match. And the long kick by Ackermanis hits him on the chest and takes the second bite at the cherry. And the power forwards of Lynch and Brown in particular have been uh, so important in this second half. 74 goals for the season to Alistair Lynch. Johnson back to power as they play cat and mouse. They can afford to tease a little now. Ackermanis cutting off a ball that was meant for Carousella. Maxfield sweeping it, but straight back to power. Now Brown, 71,019 people tonight have watched Brisbane win their way into their third success in grand final. Their opponent will be the Magpies. Just an unbelievable final quarter. Sydney can only kick the one behind. This is the team that's dominated their last quarters over the season. And Brisbane, they look down and out at three-quarter time, but a mighty proud heart beats inside that Lions jumper. And the big fellas up forward with Jonathan Brown, Alistair Lynch, Charman in the ruck, at ground level, Sean Hart and Luke Power. Michael in defence with Justin Leppage. They were, uh, well, they just powered home. And that certainly gives Collingwood something to think about when you see a team who look down and out at three-quarter time, come out and kick eight goals. Six goals in that final term. Just a wonderful finish. Let's get out of Neil Cordy. 